support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. But we have our next guest here. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Having it's, fun. Yeah, it's still day one. Yep. We've still got the energy. Everything's right. fine. Right. <laughs> Feet hurting a little bit, but otherwise it's all good. Not like it will be on Friday, though. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Yeah. My name is Sean McKee. I'm here with uh, Linksura, which is uh, the name of the company and the name of the product. Uh, it's the Linksura Smart Controller. This will control up to 52 smart devices, so things like lights, shades, door locks, things like that. Um, you've got four devices that you can see uh, on the screen at once, and if you spin the wheel, you know, it goes through a bunch of different devices. Okay. And then you can uh, you know, control them. You can program it to, you know, if you want to do a single click to turn something on, double click to turn it off, or just use it as a toggle. You know, let's say you've got uh, something like a speaker. You can click it and turn the wheel to turn up the volume, turn it the other way to turn down the volume. Same thing with uh, thermostat for temperature, you know, brightness for a light. Um, we can control a bunch of different devices uh, directly, but we can also control them through Alexa, through Google Home, through IFTTT. Uh, oh. uh, Samsung Smart Things is going to be this month, and then uh, Q2 is going to be um, uh, Apple HomeKit and the Matter Protocol. So... Basically anything. Pretty much. There's thousands of devices out there. Yeah. You know, and more coming every day. Yep. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, it'll work up to three months on a single charge. Okay. Um, it's got a backlight, you know, for the e-paper when it's, when it's dark. It's not dark right now. So it's, um, but uh, this is uh, $99.99. Okay. Comes in a couple different colors. And it's got a magnetic wall mount. You can put it on the wall. Or leave it on your tabletop, whatever's clever. Okay. So, all right. So it's an e-ink display. E-paper. E-paper. Yes. Okay. It is, like, wicked detailed. Like, the, the, the pixel density on this is intense. Yeah. Because the, the text on some of these is real small, and I can still read it. Right. Which is not necessarily always the Yeah, case. and you're a bit younger than me. I'm having an issue reading, but... <laughs> Fair enough. I was reading banners further down the hall earlier. Yeah, okay. it's a it's a two forty by two forty pixel display. Okay. the The lines are thin but crisp. That's mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Yeah. So, how do we configure this? I've got a, a thermostat and a couple of lights in my living room. How, so, how do we how do we make this work with that? So we have an app. And you, you can, you know, talk, like I said, we support a number of devices uh, directly. Uh, those include Sonos, Philips Hue, uh, LifeX, um, you know, but for other devices that we don't support directly yet, if you can control them with, you know, some of the other systems out there like Alexa, Google Home, mm -hmm. et cetera, then we can, we can set it up through that, through our app. Okay. So we go into the app. Uh, are we, this, obviously this is on Wi-Fi. I yep. see a little icon on it. Yep. Um, so this is on the, on the network. Mm-hmm. We can then start addressing things either directly over the network through Bluetooth. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then over the internet back to through things like if this and that and whatnot. Yes, exactly. Okay. So if it's not supported directly, how do I configure that? Well, then we have to, you know, we're still talking to, with a bunch of companies that we're getting their APIs and we're integrating them directly, if at all possible. You know, sure, some, sure. Some, the ones that are, have an open API. Okay. Yeah. But let's say, let's say we have to go through something like Alexa or if that's... Right. How, so, how do we deal with those? So then, you know, we connect with the app to Alexa, to the Alexa app okay. through our app. Um, and then we configure the button, you know, do you want to, what kind of button press do you want to do, you know, or, or rotation. Um, and then we, you know, just create the action on the Alexa app. Okay. Or the routine, as it's called. I see. So if I'm, let's go with a thermostat that you don't have direct access to, and I want to click and turn it down, wherever it gets to, it would then send a command that says set the thermostat to 71 well, degrees or something uh, like new, that? A new feature that we've just added is we're going to see, you know, real-time feedback of what the percentage is, you know. So is that at 100 or the temperature in this case? You know, what is that value? Okay. Because things like Alexa can, can feed that back. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 
really interesting. Yeah, so and we can also do uh, you know program scenes, so it can be a home automation solution as well. Okay. Um, you know, so you can set it up to trigger multiple things, you know, uh, with a click or at a certain time of day. I could see this in a studio to control lighting scenes and stuff like that. Exactly. Obviously, I think in terms of that, when I'm sitting in the studio. <laughs> yeah, well, and some of the B-roll that, that we have that I provided for you guys, um, you know, we've done some, some pretty elaborate setups with outdoor home lighting, you know, like in, in Florida, some nice light show type of, you know, stuff at a mansion. So, okay. yeah, there's some good stuff. Probably you'll be seeing it right now while I'm talking. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So obviously you gave me a price point already. Yep. That likely means that it's on the market. Yeah, we just started shipping a few weeks ago. Okay. Um, you can buy it directly from Linksura.com right now. Um, but we are, for the month of January, we're exclusive with QVC. And then after that, we're going to be going into retail and on um, Amazon, you know, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be able to pick them up in some physical stores? Yes. And then online... And already online at our website, QVC yes. right now, right okay. for the month of January. Very cool. And do we have anything new and exciting coming in the near future that we can talk about? Yes, um, we are going to be. You know, uh, there's going to be a professional version which has got wireless charging on it, um, some additional features. The the next version, which is you know later on towards the end of the year, is going to be uh, a color screen, bigger screen. Um, you know, a couple other things too. We're also partnering with some some companies for. We've got several different markets that we're that we're targeting besides consumers. Uh, also, the hospitality industry, so room control sure. for hotels, um, and That'd also be a smart place for it. Also, home integrators too that are you know doing home theater installs and all kinds of automation like that. So you, you can imagine some of the companies that are in that space. Um, you know, we're partnering with at least one of those right now, which I can't announce yet. But you know, yeah, we're we're going there. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's. That's some cool spaces to get into. Yep. That I wouldn't have necessarily thought about. That's yeah. And the other one is, um, you know, a uh, major TV provider. You know, okay. that's also getting into that provides also internet. Uh, they're getting into smart devices, and okay. you know, this will be the solution for that. Nice. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's again. Good I can't not say names, but nope. Of course not. To be announced. Very cool. Yep. Well, if people want to find out more about this or uh, follow those announcements as they happen. How can they do that? Linksura.com, www.linxura.com. Very cool. Well, I really like it. I'm going to have to give it a try and see how it works. It's a really cool idea. I'm happy to send one over to you. Very cool. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for coming over. Thank you. And Pleasure. Have a good rest of the show. You as well. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.